Hey there, wanted to show you how to use the while loop in Workado. Uh, this is something they rolled out, I believe, end of 23, early 24, somewhere in there. Um, it's pretty simple to use, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And what we're looking at here is just a very simple recipe. I have a variable here that's called count. It's an integer. And here is where you can bring in the repeat while, which is what I did. And when you do that, oh, let me just click it here. You'll see that at the bottom it has the while condition. So that's what I'm going to fill out. And I'm going to say while count is less than 11, basically run through this. So what I'm going to be doing is I have a while leap, while loop spreadsheet here. And I'm always just going to add a row that is going to contain the count. And then each time this runs, I'm also going to increase the count by one. So when this is all done, I should have one through 10 uh, right here. So now I'm just going to run that. And we'll look at the sheet. And we can see that it's filling out and it stopped. Let me just refresh here. And here we can look at the job and just see that um, it said condition false because um, the count is now not less than 11. So but by the time that um, it added this last one, I updated the count. It checked to see that it was less than 11 and it stopped. So that's really useful. I also want to show you how this works with um, a system so you aren't necessarily just using variables but uh, this is something that often comes up in Marketo. All right so as you'll see I've added a few different variables here so I have results at 200 and this is the variable that we're going to use to keep uh, checking whether to continue through the loop or not and the way that this Marketo endpoint works is you can get uh, Marketo programs back 200 um, at, a, at a time and then you use an offset to page through the different results. So that's what uh, these things are doing. So um, here is where we have the get programs um, call that we're going to use. And um, we'll see that I'm actually updating uh, the results with the list size. So whatever, however many programs are returned, that's where we're going to write the results. And now I'm saying anytime that the results is greater than 199, because we can get 200 at a time, uh, continue through. So I'm just going to click this and I'm just going to rerun this last job. We can see on the final call it returned 125 results. So once it got a page through basically 1600 results and when it got to the last page there was only 125 programs here and that's why uh, it terminated that loop. So this is something that I think is really handy and I think there's a lot of use cases for it and it's super simple to use. So I hope this helps.